Okay, so this will be our last uh, project for the year for virtual students. Um, you are going to paint a landscape picture. Um, I have some that I'm going to upload online uh, for you to choose from. They'll probably be anywhere from six to ten of them that you can choose from. You're only going to do one, but I want to give you some options, so that's why I'm loading about ten of them on there. This is one that I did in watercolor. Uh, you do have the option to do watercolor. If you got the watercolor set that I asked for at the beginning of the year, you do have the option to do that. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you got this watercolor set at the beginning of the year, um, you can do that. Um, it is a little bit more tricky, but it is uh, possible if you want to do um, your landscape in watercolor. I'm going to have a separate video for watercolor students versus if you do yours in acrylic paint. Um, but the first thing that you are going to do is I'm going to have different uh, pictures uploaded. This is one, like I said, that I did, and this is the photo that I chose. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's lines of different color mountains beside, behind it. Um, this is kind of more uh, monochromatic color, so it's the same color, just different values. So like when we did on that color chart, it would go from one color to another or you know, from one, especially like if you were using um, the white or if you're any of the blues and the purples, you know, it would change from one shade of that to the darker towards the bottom. This is kind of that same concept, uh, which is one reason why I chose this. Um, and then of course you have the different colors that uh, are in the sky. You've got the yellows and the pinks and the purples. Uh, you've got the clouds in there. Um, so I chose that one for an example for watercolor. Um, I haven't gotten my one for acrylic yet, but I wanted to kind of show you uh, some of the ones that I have. Um, this is one, a student chose this one, another student chose this one. If you don't like any of the 10 that I have online, you can come by the school um, either after school on Tuesdays. Um, I stay every Tuesday from about 4 to about 4.45 in the afternoon. Um, and then, of course, on Fridays, anytime after 8.30. Um, but you're going to have to pick your picture either by this Friday or next Friday. After that, um, you're going to have to choose one of the ten online. Um, but there are a lot of different options that are available. Um, actually, this is like just like the one I just did. Um, different mountains, uh, different colors. Um, so there are a lot of different options that you have to choose from if you want to come to the school and pick one. If you come to the school and pick one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a scanned copy of that photo uh, to your email, and uh, or I may copy it for you if you're here, um, but you're going to use that picture to do your color mixing. So the I'm just kind of going through all of the different pictures that I have here. Um, you are not able to choose your own. You have to choose one of the ones that I have chose, uh, that I have uploaded, or come to school and choose one of this stack. I have some that are a little bit more complicated, so if you want to challenge yourself just a little bit, uh, you'll be able to do that um, and choose one that's a little bit more complicated if you would like. Um, but the first step I'm going to do in the video is you are going to make uh, a, get a little piece of paper. Uh, it can be your sketchbook paper. Um, I would preferably cut out a rectangular size about this big. And you are going to mix the different colors that you see and you're going to put a little uh, swatch, paint a little swatch on that little chip of paper. And um, I'm going to show you in the next video how to do that. Uh, what I'm looking for, that's going to be the first part of the assignment that is due. Uh, the second part of the assignment is once you select your picture, you're going to draw this very lightly. Um, if you are going to do watercolor um, and you do not have watercolor paper, um, or when you come to pick up your paper to do your painting on, you're going to need to tell me if you're doing acrylic or watercolor, because the paper is definitely different for acrylic than it is watercolor. So um, let me know that if you're doing watercolor or acrylic. And, um, and then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to mix the colors uh, to make for your photo. And, um, and then we'll start from there. If you have any questions, 
um, you can come up to school uh, or you can email me. Uh, I'll be here tomorrow uh, anytime from 8.30 until 3.30. Uh, I will, um, if you need paint, you can get paint. Uh, if you haven't finished the color mixing chart, you definitely need to do that because this is starting, I'm about to, I'm gonna upload this and this is starting uh, soon. So uh, seniors, uh, we're under a little bit of a time crunch, but I think we can still make it. Um, your paper may be a slightly smaller than uh, those that are, have a little bit longer. Um, but uh, like I said, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to do some color mixing and how to match everything. All right, if you have any questions, just reach out.